Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel, guys. For more of your daily dose of Warcraft, of course, I have something special here for you. Somebody you have requested for the longest time ever. And that is FQQ here in the bottom left hand side. Opening with the Archmage. Very weird opening. He's notorious for playing unorthodox Play styles outside of the meta. Tower first and Lumber Mill. Okay, he's going for Tower Rush. He's gonna do Tower Rush. And his opponent today is another very strong Chinese human, Timo Fan. Also opening with the Archmage, but he's creeping the laboratory camp. Interesting. Both of those, I guess, they are very, very hugely influenced by Sky. As you can see, even the FQQ battle tag name uh, on the War W3 Champions is used is Sky or Sky Lee, something along those lines. Um, Timo Fan also known for being a huge fan of Sky. Sky actually started a team. His own Warcraft team and he calls the Sky and Timo Fan is literally the human player that he decided to um, choose to compete for his team. Isolk was the old player. Um, I think Ugly was the undead player. And I can't remember. I, I believe 15, 15 Sway was the Night Elf. So nice, nice little for player addition for sky all young players as well so the future's bright you know plus if sky now sees something in those guys then who are we to question but i like fqq there's no tower rush but what he does is he went for blizzard instead and trying to punish team of fans peasants team of fans going into tier two as well now fqq is way ahead of him there's a second tower coming he wants to make sure He's nice, safe, and secure. Now the shop. A player's forces are under attack. Due to speed on the team of fun. Archmage. Same on the FQQ as well. And he's got the stuff for teleportation also. He's trying to kill a footman here. Oh, but team of fun with a clutch micro. The nice. The nice the experience for FQQ. A dead footman is still a dead footman. Again, at least it's not. Oh, FQQ is playing. <laughs> FQQ is playing very dangerously. He had a peasant inside the main base of Imofan. And he used the staff of teleportation to get his Archmage over there. And now he's building a tower with a peasant. A player's forces are under now cancels the tower he realizes he's not gonna have enough time and tps out with the archmage and the keep has been completed oh this game's gonna be so crazy i can already see it. he's going into castle right away imufan is still waiting for his tekken to finish off first oh timufan now denies the clarity potion and the regeneration on the second for fqq and he's heading right for the main base of team of fun he's gonna kill loads of peasants now that's gonna be loads of dead peasants by the way this is twisted metals 1.1 if i haven't mentioned that already and there's some of the peasants are dying there's the archmage coming there is the blizzard but team of fun with quick reaction not losing too many peasants really and now the mk He's about to come out for Timo Fan. And I think Timo Fan is weathering the storm now quite nicely. Sending the footman to perhaps try and find some kills. There's Arcane Sanctum 4. FQQ already. Ooh, FQQ is playing so sick. He's been the aggressor so far. There's the Panda back again. But he cannot squeeze in behind those farms. Town is under siege. Nice wall off by Timo Fan, and here is FQQ with the Archmage. Buys another tower. Clarity potion. Oh, he sold he sold the boot to the speed. And the scroll of town teleportation. No. He transferred him on the panda. Now he takes them back on to 
the Archmage. The Pimufan found him and interrupts the regeneration of mana and health yet again. Um, FQQ now needs to be extra careful though because Timo Fan's got his MK out. Okay, Sorcerer is adept training first. Now the Sorcerer is about to come. And the Priests as well. Oh -ho. The town is FQQ speed. is so sick. But Timo Fan is here with the MK. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. Towers being built, and now the Archmage is behind enemy lines yet again, and he's about to kill some peasants. MK takes the tower down, there's the blizzard coming, but that's gonna be so many dead peasants. But also if KQ loses the Archmage, Archmage level 1 of course, that'll be a quick revive. And there are the priests now, and the sorceresses as well, double aviary. Here's a sorceress and a priest. Ooh, that slow animation was going. Can he catch him? Yes, he can. No, but there's the Archmage now. And FTQ needs to start repairing the shop unless he's planning to rebuild it. Oh, but the panda is here now. He's gonna kill this peasant. Almost. But he's gonna cancel the shot for sure. There's the stone bolt from the MK. Nice. Back for sanctuary from the Archmage. There's the panda. Now this priest will heal the panda back. Oh, this is so much back and forth. This is so much Do Dota right now. We are watching Dota right now. <laughs> Instead of Warcraft 3. It's just being hero versus hero so far. Well now there's 2v2 heroes. Himofan is into castle as well. Not going for a third hero. Perhaps he will get a tavern hero. We know that FQQ is getting a paladin. He's got the Griffin Avery. Double Griffin Avery. And there's the panda now. Okay, Timo Fan's here with the Archmage yet again. A invisibility from the Sorceress. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, slow on this Archmage. And uh, why not? He brings Militia as well. Oh, but he needed more slow here. In any case, the Archmage is here. The MK stays nearby. Okay, FQQ try this trick again with the tower where it will force the Archmage inside behind the wall. That didn't happen, of course. Now the MK would chase the Archmage down here. The player's forces are under no attack. boot speed, of course. Would not be able to catch him. Pretty sure he could have throw that hammer on him. Use the Thunderbolt to interrupt the teleportation but fqq is in a good position he's got two griffins now and the paladin is out as well and Timo Fan wants to counter the griffins with flying machines holy light from the pali on the archmage who picked up clues of attack by the way all three heroes are level one transfers the boot speed on the panda alchemist there's the third hero choice for Team of Fanas Alchemist with a heal spray. It makes sense, of course. Oh, here are the gyros. One of them dies. But he knows now. Now he knows. There's more helicopters and upgrades, of course. Here we are. Cannons. I'm gonna have to micro here a little bit. We got stuck between the creep and Timo Fan who came from behind. That Paladin can sustain that battle for a while for them. From the board on the Archmage. Now we have a Holy Light from the Paladin. 
He will find loses the footman here. Now F T targets the MK. Ooh, and the MK is in trouble now. MK is in big trouble. And that's a dead MK. Level 2 Panda. FQQ keeps going for it now. Without the MK, Imufan would be very, very vulnerable. Of course, level 1 though, will be a quick revive. And the problem here for Timofan is not that they, he, all his heroes are level 1. But because FQQ heroes are such a low level as well, MK will still make a difference for now. But now, FQQ is with a triple level 2 heroes. So he is getting some power. He's gaining some momentum. Oh, slow on the alchemist. Breath of Fire transfers the TP on the alchemist just to save him. Oof. Dangerous game. Those helicopters, yes, they deal a lot of damage on air units, but you can just see one hammer from the griffin. And those helicopters were in trouble. And of course, the panda with the breath of fire is another problem for the gyros. Oh, MK was coming to the goblin merchant. But FQ was already here. And he finally loses the griffin. Okay, this panda is in trouble now. He loses the priest as well. Tough a sanctuary on the panda. Oh, the alchemist. The alchemist, baby. Oh, but that was... <laughs> that was fun, the board on the Archmage. And FQQ perhaps got excited. He probably was thinking like, yes. I'm going to take the alchemist out of the fight. But instead, he lost his Archmage. And now Team of Fun, all of a sudden... Level 2 Archmage, level 2 MK. Not too bad for him all of a sudden. Not too bad at all. Oof. On the Brewmaster. And there's the Paladin. Archmage have been revived. Okay, Animal War trading as well for the Knights. Knights are coming. FQQ is such a creative player, I swear to God. He's like, okay, Griffins are not working really at the moment. I'm gonna go Knights and see how he's gonna counter me then. Because Timo Fan has invested into helicopter. Okay. Okay, he does go for Knights as well. Perhaps maybe they play against each other way too many times and they know each other so, so well. But that was so much back and forth so far, and we just crossing the 15 minute mark. And I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. Ring of protection. I'm gonna be honest guys, if I have to choose what player I wanna cast every single day on the channel, that will be this guy, FQQ. Unfortunately, he didn't play for a very long time but I was following him from the shadows patiently waiting finally finally I found him play some games on the 8th of March and I'm not gonna miss this opportunity and I don't know when it's gonna be the next time he plays again but whenever that is I'll be keeping taps on him. I keep taps on Todd, Grubby, you know, a bit more of a legend now. I'll be a bit more of a legend guy nowadays. Yeah. Obviously, if there's like a very big game like Happy versus Lin, a player's Moon versus Lin, you know, something along those like Moon versus Happy, 1 to 0, etc. etc. Obviously, I'm gonna do those. Uh, of course, the usual suspects, you know, guys, I'm a big fan of Chamiko and Fortitude as well. Big fan of Soin. So I'm going to do a lot of them. But I'm definitely going to pay attention for... If TH continues to play as human, there's going to be a lot more TH games. 
If FQQ plays 100%, if Grubby or Todd are playing 100%, I, I even keep tabs on Sky himself, but he hasn't played for a long time as well. But if he ever does, you make sure I'm gonna cast that for you guys. <clears throat> And of course, Infi, if I see Infi play as a human, uh, definitely, definitely a must watch. I will do TH and Infi even if they don't play humans because they play very often. Save day. If I hear for a very interesting game they've made against somebody or the big boys, obviously I'm going to do that. There will be a lot of... Labyrinth is probably the most fun undead players to watch. I'm going to do obviously a lot of Labby as well. But FQQ all my days. And he's pushing hard, by the way. He's got way more knights than Timo Fan. Timo Fan's kind of cornered here now. He doesn't know what to do. He's there about, but he doesn't want to commit. All my days. Timo Fan with a mercenary sent into FQQ expansion. But FQQ is not wasting time. He's going for the castle now. Lizard on the castle, and finally Timo Fan decides to engage. And here we go. Mano and Mano, what's gonna happen? Heal spray is coming. There's no dead unit so far, but the, oh, the alchemist. He had to use the stuff of Sanctuary on the alchemist. Now the Archmage, holy light, comes. And we just saw the first victim, which was one of Timo Fan's knights. FQQ saves a knight here. Now Timo Fan's MK is in absolute shambles and he dies. Oh my days. And that's it. GG FQQ with the win here. What a crazy game. What a fun game to cast for you. Thank you for all of you that decided to watch this with me. I love you. And I'm going to catch you on the next one.